All right, guys, Michigan Farming wanted to see the uh, Oliver 70s we got. This is my uncle's uh, 70. He gets an unstyled 70 because it's got the flat front. Uh, came from the same people who I got my 525 from. I don't think this tractor's ran probably 50 years or so. Been sitting in the shed. Um, but I'm going to give a little history on the 70s uh, and Oliver and Hart Par uh, first here before I talk about the 70s. Um, 1929, Oliver Chilled Plow Works merged with uh, Hart Par Tractor Company. Um, formed the Oliver Corporation and uh, come out with a line of tractors had a uh, 1827 which looked real similar to this and we've got one of those that we bought brand new in 1935 my uncle's restoring it right now um, uh, it's not here or I'd uh, show you what it looked like maybe I'll put a picture in um, of an 1827 uh, mouth 1827 which is a row crop then they had an 1828 which had a wide front end uh, same tractor though and then they had a 2844 which is a bigger tractor uh, the 18 uh, with those model with those numbers designate the 18 was uh, draw bar horsepower and 27 was PTO horsepower um, they built those series of tractors from 1929 to 1935 or 36 I don't think people really know when it, the production ended of them um, gosh that was 80 years ago um, the uh, then in 36 they come out with the unstyled Oliver 70 here to replace well, I didn't replace this thing was also uh, around 27 horse I can't remember what it was maybe it was about 27 on the belt is what it was rated at um, come out with it and it uh, where was I going with that one come out there in 36 and had ran it from 36 and 37 and then they had the Oliver the 1827 heart par actually made it for a few more years and they but they called it an Oliver 80 and it looked just like an 1827 um, and it had a uh, the 70s got a 201 cubic inch six cylinder Waukesha engine um, the heart par had a four cylinder engine a little bigger cubic inch on the 1827s um, and they made and it turned into the Oliver 80 and they made it I think all the way up until 40 I want to say 47 or 48 when they came out with the fleet line series of tractors um, so there in 36 they come out with the Oliver 80 and the unstyled 70 and then in uh, 38 they come out with a styled 70 which is what we have over in the other shed and I'll show you it here in a minute uh, but that's just a little bit of uh, history on the unstyled and styled 70 alright now this is a uh, styled 70 you know it's got the curved front end and whatnot. had a few changes on it different seat um, It's just cosmetics was really the difference in the styled, unstyled 70s. They come out with this one in 38, kind of a pre-runner of the fleet lines. Um, they, uh, but they didn't change the Oliver 80. Looked the same all the way up through 47 when they made it. It looked the same as the 1827 Hart Par. Um, exact, you know. They had just changed the 70, and that was it. And there was actually one year, I can't remember how many of them were built, of an Oliver 88 that wasn't a fleet line. It looked like this. It had this older style, you know, grill on it where it kind of leaned back a little bit. But anyway, that's a little bit of history. Ask any questions if you want to. Um, these side shields open up. 201 cubic inch Waukesha engine in it again in the styled 70. Need to get this tractor out and running. I haven't had it running in 
five or six years. Um, Dad bought this in the early 80s. Uh, he was in high school, needed something to work on, kind of like I got the 525. Um, I also got the belt pull. It is a power lift uh, deal. You pull that lever there, and it uh, was for a mounted cultivator. It was kind of the first attempt at hydraulics. Six speed transmission, it tops out about 10 or 11 mile an hour going down the road, not terribly fast. Rated RPM at 1500 RPMs, makes 27 horse on the belt, and this one will still run 27. Uh, choke, throttle, um, actually wait, I'm mistaken on that. That lever engages the, the belt uh, deal there, then you pull that one to trip those levers, or to trip those little bell cranks. Uh, clutch and then the brake. Um, kind of had a spring cushion seat that was kind of an upgrade at the time. Swinging drawbar. is not a live PTO. There's a start button, there's the lights, and there's the on off switch. There's no key. Engine oil pressure, water temperature. Oh no, that's battery uh, amperage. Um, and then there's the water temperature. So pretty simple not a lot to it but, uh, those might be original tires on there I'm not sure they're not in too bad of shape for being original front tires have been replaced at some point But this would be a nice tractor. Just leave it hooked onto the feed mill. Might have to get that out and do that. A two fifty. But I think that's about it uh, for the seventies. Hope that answers any confusion. If uh, wondering why they look different. I can't remember what year this is. I want to say it's a 42, but I'm not sure. I have to uh, look up the serial number again on it. But six volt starting system. That was kind of a downfall. Engine gets hot, and it doesn't really like to turn it over too well. Remember, I pulled it in a barnyard tractor pull about 10 years ago, and I was about 12 years old, and dang thing I killed it let the clutch out too fast it killed it and the, had to pull start the thing because he had a new battery but it just wouldn't hack it some of these old six volts uh, if I get it running again I'll put an eight volt battery in it to give it a little bit of a boost there um, but yeah so That's probably it for an overview on the 70s so thanks Michigan Farming for requesting the video and uh, thanks everybody for watching